My, I'm, I'm all over the bedroom at the moment. That seems I've like been a there. terrible In idea. In multiple pieces? Oh, my brain is, yeah. Whoa. Wow, it's damn a, salsa. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. not a good idea to explode your brain. Also, whoa, Lucy, you sound loads better with that headset. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm so glad I bought it. It's so good. <laughs> Where'd you get that one from? Uh, Class Olsen. I think oh, it's cool. the same one as you have. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, so you're live streaming? I am, yeah. I was just wondering if anyone would actually notice. When did you start that? <laughs> yeah. I, I just wanted just to now. see if we uh, could have a start like last week, because that's quite amusing. <laughs> I decided to leave it in in the end. Oh god. Oh god, I'm going to get doxxed. Shane, I don't want to get doxxed. <laughs> no, you won't. You didn't say anything bad about Gamergate, it's all good. Shh, don't mention it so loud while you're don't live. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Gamergate? Oh god. Don't you say it too many times. It, it's, <laughs> it, it's an online place where you can uh, go and buy games. Yeah, <sighs> it's true. It's close. It is. That's Gamersgate, so, you know. <laughs> I bet they I get real I thought that's what we were talking about all along. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, shall we start? Nope. Yeah. Would everyone like the epic starting music? Epic. Okay. Oh, there we go. Come down to Emily. After doing that, Emily, you're doing the introduction now. No, but you did so well last time. <laughs> but then we'll all get, we'll all get docs. Welcome to hell, bitches. <laughs> oh boy, you're not gonna edit this out, are you, dear? Not even slightly. I love you. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> yeah, sorry, babe. I'm smoking for. <sighs> I knew it. You know, all those times we're on a game called Tom. Tom doesn't exist. I knew it. I mean, he keeps calling other people babe as well. Like, what am I supposed <laughs> to make of it? To be fair, most people in Mum will call me babe now. I think so. <laughs> yeah, we do actually. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's getting a little bit weird, but you know. <laughs> Each to their own, no, no. Shall we do an introduction now? Because everyone can actually hear nope. us. So. <laughs> or shall we yeah. just awkwardly do talk between each other for a while? Shane, introduce and then Telemain can introduce. I introduce and then Telemain introduce? All the other way around. Okay, hello everyone and welcome to uh, Dungeons and Dragons. This is Naldrin Campaign and it's our sixth week. Uh, we actually have the whole team here, which is surprising. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we, we don't, don't have Frumple. Well, it's close enough. Last week we were missing. Uh, Josh was a tree for half of it, and then came back and then fell asleep. Um, I was literally asleep. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And Gwyn. Gwyn was well. We'll find out what Gwyn was doing in a minute. We will. So. I will change us over to the wonderful screen where you can see all of the perfectly plain, non-drawn-on map that we left off with last week. And certainly didn't get drawn on it during our downtime. It most certainly did not. 100%. Oi. <laughs> you lot behave yourselves. That's never going to happen. Are we going to get Telemain to introduce us? I thought we were. That was the plan. Telemain, go! I even wrote something down this time, so I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm so prepared. Okay. Hello and welcome back to the Naldrin Campaign with our lovely GM Charbookworm, streamed by our gorgeous host, Dark Python. Oh yes, baby. There you go. No comment. <laughs> wow. Okay, wow. so, 
we're going to start off as usual. Everyone, one sentence about what they remember from last week. Scaminos. I did some pretty epic running along rooftops, and I also shouted at a few town guards who wouldn't stop the bloody lift. Uh, Pod. I gave an orphan kid a uh, gold. They probably like me a bit more now. Pascal. Um, I raged out. James raged out. Then, um, yeah, we made friends. Um, Tessran. We went up an elevator, and then everybody, for some reason, kept calling it a lift, and that was really weird. <laughs> 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 oh dear, it's brilliant. <laughs> We're not going through this shit again. <laughs> okay. Fucking lift. I'm there really is. glad that this is what everyone's remembering from my carefully laid clues. <laughs> what happened Hello? last week? There was Rarry. plot clues? <laughs> Oh, Does anyone God. actually remember what happened last week apart I from me? I don't actually remember. I, I, I do now, yes. to be fair. Now that, now that we're back and paying attention, I do actually remember what happened. Barris, what do you remember of last week? I had some sweet ass dreams, IRL. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool beans. I'm glad I'm making this entertaining for you all. My time oh. and effort is blatantly going to good use. You know we love you. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, so um, this is probably best that we're not revealing too much information, actually, because Gwyn, you've been off on your own special adventure, haven't you? Oh yes. Would Would you like to tell people what exactly happened with you last week? Uh, well, I, well, when we leveled up, um, I. Try to remember this special spell that gives me, um, sort of makes my sword better in some way. I won't tell you how now, but yeah. And <laughs> basically, uh, I rolled a one on that check, which means oh. that, um, Gwyn kind of forgot everything over the last 24 hours. <laughs> so. Yeah, what? so essentially she's kind of been wandering around aimlessly and vaguely remember that Tin's height is the place to go and then I ask whether I've seen um, some half-orc Oh my <laughs> I. god I.e. So, so yes, Gwyn currently remembers she was up to something and it was probably important and uh, Tin's height was involved and she was hanging out with a half orc for some time. So, Gwyn, you've been wandering somewhat aimlessly around Tin's height, asking about half orcs for a fair bit of a fair bit of time now. Um, you've noticed to some uh, well something of a puzzlement for you is the fact that the main road going through the town has been littered with what seems to be some kind of czar accident. There are a number of animals dragging carts and the like that seem to have got in to trouble. They've basically either been fighting or ended up being killed somehow. And no one seems to quite know what sparked it at all. Are you going to ask about this while you're around? Yes. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so you noticed that there, so kind of you went off to the side of the town for a bit and then you came back and just realised like there appear to be caravans of dead animals in the road. Um, at the moment there's a guard that's kind of trying to clear up the worst of, of the mess with a few other people and what looks like the owner of a the cart tending the uh, donkey that was once upon a time responsible for towing it. Uh. Said donkey is not in a happy looking state. I talked to the guard then. I'm going to ask him about what the hell is going on. Or her. Sorry. Okay, she looks over at you and kind of 
looked slightly surprised, but says, "You can, you might as well tell me, ma'am. I have no damn idea. The animals just started going crazy on the striker three. Huh. Quinn looks confused, much like the donkey. Um, Fair enough." You know, to add to a already confused state. Mm-hmm. Um, is there anything else around? Um. Well, it looks as though everything's pretty much in chaos uh, at the moment. Um, there's a group of what seem to be um kids running, no, running around the place. They look like they might be orphans or urchins of. At some sort, um, the guards are milling around trying to clear up what's been going on with the market stall owners and keep them away from the poor owner of the now dead donkey that has obviously been killed by something or rather it looks as though there's an argument about to break out of some variety. Can I uh, do an investigation check on the donkey's wounds? Uh, yeah, sure. Roll me a... well, do you use an investigation check? Uh, just one second, let's get my character sheet up. It's been two weeks, after all. Uh... Them. Okay, you have a look at the donkey. You can't get too close because there are quite a few people milling around. But it doesn't look as though it took a surprising amount to kill this poor creature than it should do to kill you know, a donkey. Right, so it just kind of got... Died of deadly things, yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, died of deadly things. It... Probably human weapons. So I, I just scream out. Does anybody know what ha know what happened to this donkey? There's a general murmur of ah. <laughs> the, the owner of the donkey marches up to you at this point and says, oh, great, someone else is here to ask me more bloody questions. Go on, then. Uh... Uh... Hello there. Uh, what's going on, then? What What is the deal with this situation here? He folds his arms and kind of shakes his head. Damned if I know. Me and the poor beast came out of the forest yesterday, just here to do some trading. And he just went mad. As if he'd been possessed, or? The guy shrugs and says, I'm a farmer, I wouldn't damn know. It, the poor fella just suddenly tried to bolt. He was screaming, eyes rolling, everything. Never seen an animal do anything like it. Bloody forest curse if you ask people around here, but don't know how much to put, truth I put to it. I see. Also, you wouldn't happen to have seen a half orc. Or two. Um, he scratches his head and says, Hmm. Now you mention it, I think I did see a couple of fellas going past earlier. A group of uh, with a group of some sort wasn't really paying much attention, though. Yes, exactly. I'm looking for that group. Do you know uh, which general direction they went? Or? Uh, he kind of shrugs and gestures a little bit towards the edge of town. Up that way somewhere? I got to admit, I wasn't exactly paying much attention. I've got other things on my mind. Oh, yeah. Well, um, I wish you, I bid you good day and hope that um, everything can be resolved. Thank you kindly, ma'am, he says, and heads back to his animal to talk with some of the guards. 
Okay, good. So I think Gwyn is going to go in, in the general direction that that guy said. Um. Okay, you head along there and you notice that there are a couple of the urchins following you as you head down there. They seem to be holding their hands out looking for money of some sort. Um, so I, I guess I'll turn around and address these uh, urchins. Okay. Uh, they are children, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hello, children. What are you following me for? Uh, they push the youngest kid to the, into the front. He's a little wood elf boy, and he kind of grins at you with gappy teeth and says. Penny Miss? Uh, sure. I'll give him uh, five copper or so. He grins and says, Thank you very much, Miss. If we can do anything for you, we will. Urchin's honour. Do you happen to... Have you seen a group of people walking around? They look kind of strange. There's a couple of half-orcs. The kids kind of give you a slight look and go into a huddle. And then an old one who's a girl, maybe kind of nine or ten, says, Uh, yeah, Franny took a group a while ago. Oh? Do you know uh, where they, they went? Was, uh, they was asking about where Guard Six was, and she took them to the alley. Uh... Can you take me there? They confer again, says, Franny says we're not allowed. It's dangerous down there. We can take you to Franny, though, maybe, and wait till she comes back. That would be fantastic. Okay, they kind of wave at you and head off down a side road for a little while. Uh, what's your passive perception? Uh, it should be... What is it? It's wisdom, right? Yeah. Yeah, 10 plus ten. wisdom. Oh, yeah, 10. Okay, um, you notice that you're going off down somewhere called King something or other street, but you don't actually see what which king it's referring to. Uh, it's a, still a reasonably wide street, this one, just going off for the main thoroughfare through the town. And... Yeah, they just kind of take you down there and seem to be waiting around for this Franny individual to reappear. Right. Okay, on which note, we will go back to um, the rest of the party. So, um, let's take you on to this one. So, you've been guided to the beginning of this alley. Um, after a bit of confirming, you decide it might be a good idea to get Jack to go off and find your party paladin, seeing as, you know, paladin kind of useful if you might be fighting. Um, Skamanos, have you revealed yourself from the roof to the rest of your party as of yet? Not even slightly. I'm still up on the roof watching and waiting. Uh, of course you are. Ah, for some re oh, Tessran, there you are. I was wondering what the heck had happened there. Go back to your place. Tell him, behave. Okay, so you've just been led to the... Don't... We will I take don't... the control away from you. Hey, look, give me. Give me. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> You're spotted by a group of bandits, you will die. Um, <laughs> no. Okay. Ah, so there's so... bandits there. That's a little bit harsh, wasn't it, really? <laughs> okay, so guys. This alley seems to be the one that the urchins have told you that. Six has frequented previously. Uh, the pod you told Franny, your guard, that she could head back for now, and she's kind of scuttled off back 
uh, back to presumably where she came from. What are you all going to do? Investigate. Um, how high are the roofs? Um, probably around. It's not quite two stories, but they're certainly a bit higher than one. Dang. Okay, I won't try and climb up on one. Okay. Uh, Pod, you said investigate, correct? Yeah, uh, to go snoop around. Okay, so in what way are you investigating? Well, so you're going to go straight down, or? Well, actually, first of all, do these houses look inhabited? Uh, roll me a perception check. They look wonky, which is driving me crazy. I'm just going to put that out there. You're fine. No. I really want to move them around and make them straight. It's an alleyway. They're supposed to be wonky. Well, well I'm glad you have the eight and that's I was one. Gonna, I was just about to say, I bet you're glad you got the right one there. Yeah. Um, okay, you have a look around. Um, I mean, it doesn't look as though they're necessarily uninhabited, but... I mean, it all looks fairly quiet around here, as far as you can tell. Any any smoke from the chimneys or such? Um, yeah, there seem to be a few bits of smoke coming up from a couple of the houses. Okay, so no wandering into random houses then. So, I'll be snooping along, trying to see what would be of interest to good old my my good old friend Sigs. Okay, so you start heading down the alleyway. Nothing seems to be around here at the moment. Um, let me see quickly. So you're heading along, and you're passing the middle house. When, uh, let me find the right thing a second. When a, when the door opens at the house on the end of the street and person's head pokes out. I look in their direction. They say. Hello? Hi, uh, password? Pod tries to remember if there's any password he might have heard that would be relevant. The guy... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? Okay. Uh, the guy is looking a bit kind of perplexed at the moment and says, "Uh, you're. Do do you live?" Here? I've not seen um, you around before, right? No, no, I'm I'm looking for my friend Sigs. He kind of gives you another look and says, "Well, yeah, then password." I'm sorry, I'm I'm my 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 memory's crap. Uh, you're not coming any further, then, mate. Uh, could you send her out here to me? I don't think so. Oy vey. Hey. Okay, this is... Who are you? Uh, my name's Pod. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really anybody to you. Well, you're coming around here looking for six, so yeah, you are kind of someone. What's that supposed to mean? What do you mean, what's it supposed to mean? Sure, I see that. Out of character, of course. Well, I mean, what is that supposed to mean? This guy doesn't seem to know what the hell is going on. 
Um, I feel I'm like are talking. any of my party members following? Yeah, I'm probably coming Guys? up behind. I'm watching on the roof at the moment, trying to stay out of sight, pretty much. No one even knows that I'm there. Yeah, okay, I'm just coming up behind Pod now, and do I catch the last bit of the conversation, I assume? Um, yeah, easily enough. Okay, so... Another person comes up from around the corner and says, I think it's time to leave now. I smile Ooh. disarmingly at them and just go, Oh, come now, don't be like that. We've come so far to come and see Six. I, well, from what I've been hearing, a lot of people are looking, might be looking for her at the moment. So you might want to clear off before this gets nasty. I grin at him and just go, Oh, really? What she's been up to again? She's always a... Uh... Having a bit of a high life, that lady. Hmm. He shakes his head and it kind of looks at, at the first guy that came out and says, We really need to train you better. Puts his fingers to his mouth and lets out a piercing whistle. Guys? Oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> that, yeah. I was expecting it sooner. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I was actually expecting it a lot sooner than that as well. Okay, so while Roll initiative, initiative people is remember, can everyone highlight their character and then roll the initiative via the character sheet? It just makes life easier, even if it rolls wrong. At God least you're on the board. It. Also, we can see everybody's names on there now. Holy crap on a cracker! Nice. You see, this Whoa. is the wonderful thing about updates. <laughs> Oh, this is just, um... Uh, Use your words. Words there, sorry guys. John mentioned that there was a way of um, unrevealing it all in the advanced settings, Fair so... Enough. Looks like wind token still doesn't show. Oh, for the... <laughs> Sounds about right. Well, in fairness, Gwyn isn't in the battle yet, so we can live with Fair that. enough. It's got my name showing on the list. Oh, well. Yeah, you're on the list, you just... Mm. I think it's because your character isn't on this map. Ah, hang on. Here that, we go. Not me. yet. Yeah. Hang on. There we go. Fixed it. Yeah. Now it's, now it's done it. Okay, so, initiative. Um, Gwyn, while all of this is going on, um, you see the orphan kids uh, kind of uh, milling around the street. After a minute, one of them tugs your arm and says, Hey, Franny's back! Oh, good. Can I see her? Uh, they point down the to a sort of side street going off at uh, um, the King, whatever the heck it is, street you're on at the moment. And a girl of about 12 with ginger pigtails that comes walking down the end of it. She gives you a look when she sees you around the kids and says, Everything all right? Yeah, everything's quite all right, dear. Um, you wouldn't have to be Franny, would you? She gives the other kids a look and says, Yeah. I'm looking for a group of people who you may have or may not have taken to an alley of some sort. Can you help me out? I don't know. Depends why you're looking for them. I'm actually their friend. Uh, I kind of lost my memory of the last 24 hours. Well, actually, I guess she wouldn't know that, would she? Whoops. She, she's <laughs> probably prob just. You can probably figure out that that's the rough period of time that's missing. Yeah. Yeah, I appear to have lost my memory of recent events, and um, the only thing I remember is two half orcs in a group that I was with. She still looks quite wary and says. 
how did you lose your memory? <laughs> but if you Do I remember, really have to explain this? <laughs> th this kid's looking pretty darn suspicious. Should I? Should I, I over remember a word. Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I have to say, isn't it? <laughs> yes, you have I to make tried, yourself seem like a twat. <laughs> I tried really hard to remember something, and I tried so hard that I forgot a lot of things. <laughs> what? <Why? laughs> she laughs at this and says, I've had days like that too. All right then. I I guess I'll take you over to um um you should probably be careful of the things you try to remember in future miss <laughs> Yeah, Gwyn laughs at herself because she's an idiot. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay, and she starts kind of leading you down towards hopefully where the rest of your companions are. Did you say you rolled with my dice today? Yeah! Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, you've got more say 19s what? in that than I have in the entire oh, well. campaign. Anyway, Goodness. sort the turn order out. <laughs> yeah, doing it now, so just Jesus. typing in names of stuff. I seriously have never rolled like that with my dice. I know. It's sad for you. Yeah, I hate you so much right now. I know. Good. I'm glad you know. Okay. Da -da -da. Last couple of bits of typing. What's that D24, Josh? Isn't it? Because apparently it won't work. I on the sheet. can't roll from the card sheet at all. Like, it's doing nothing. Ah, okay. No worries. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Do you want me to put that in for you, or can you actually do that yourself? I've put um, the third in for Yeah, in it's already in. Okay, cool. Right, so sort in descending order. And guys, you all know what this means? Yeah, I'm really glad that short bows have a 300 foot range because I'm 150 foot away. <laughs> Ooh, that is yeah, nonsense. fair enough. Yeah, is this, uh, is this to scale at the moment? Because if so, it's going to take them a very long time to get over there. <laughs> Hang on, let me. It's a hundred foot what's... away right now. Jeez, oh, hang on. What did I do with the. Seems like that it should be, be right. more like 50 foot away or something like that. Yeah, that's not quite right. I don't know why that happened. Okay, it's five foot. There we go. So I think it's because I cloned the page from a previous one I did where I did um 10 foot by 10 foot. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. There we go. That makes okay. far more sense. So, let me see. Um, unfortunately, you guys don't get to go for a while. So, upon the whistle, um, a number of uh, uh, thieves, essentially, start... Uh, flip horizontal? Yep. A number of thieves and thugs and the like start coming out from the buildings ahead of you. Um, they can't get to you right now, but they're pretty <laughs> definitely on their way. The bodyguard at the back, the first guy that you spoke to, uh, hefts a dagger and throws it towards one, two, no, what's the range on those actually, let me double check, da, 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 da. sorry guys I did say I was a bit out of it today, no nope, that's fine. the wrong document, where is it, so it's, okay so let's put he moved forward a bit and then chucks a dagger at Pod. Oh no, don't shoot him. That just makes him angry. 
Oh dear. Well, it looks like Pod's going to get angry because that hit. For... Oh. Uh, three damage. Yeah, daggers are kind of rubbish. Okay. Uh, Varus, you get to partake in battle! Ah, oh, god. <laughs> Let's do some measuring. Holy shit. Yeah, it's quite a long alleyway. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, oh, my turn. oh, oh. I've got an idea. Yeah, yeah. You're seeing it too, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's less than 15 coming, feet now. right there. Oh dear. We're all about to be severely deafened. <laughs> what is, is happening? Is that Sherlock clapping in the background? I don't know who that was. Well, it was not me. It wasn't either of us. I hit the first two people. Yeah, Thunderwave. Alright, uh, what's your... Whereabouts are you centering it? Uh, straight in front. Okay, so it's literally here? Yeah. Okay, what's your spell save, please? Uh, it is... 13. They all fail their spell save. Roll for damage. Looks like it would just hit the two of them. It's down this 2d here to me, is that right? I think so. Yeah, and they get knocked back 10 foot as well, I think, for, um. Yep. If they fail. It doesn't say in a particular direction, it's just 10 foot. Mm hmm. So. One would assume directly away. Ten damage. Okay. Ready. I probably should have written down the HP for these buggers, shouldn't I? I've got it on here, I just didn't write it on my piece of paper. Um, sorry. So that's... Um... That's those two and the the who has all oh, done the same. Cool. Okay, they're all looking pretty badly hurt after basically being hit in the face with a sonic boom. And let me check how much is ten feet. Back to there, okay, thought so. And the first two guys get chucked backward and the other one is thrown into the side of the building and is Good prone way. for his Ooh. next turn. Is he now? He is. Which is interesting, seeing as it's Pod's go. And he's still in range. Oh boy. And that's the one that hit me with the dagger. Oh boy. <laughs> we all know what this means. It's Pod time. You are so lucky. <laughs> exactly 30 foot. Mm-hmm. Well, I need to be 30 foot within 5 feet of him, so well, I've got yeah. 5 feet to spare. So yeah, just landed myself right there, pod mode activate, mm -hmm. and take a good swing at it with my great axe. Alrighty, roll the hit. Bloody hell, really? It that hits. was a damn low roll. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. Okay, let me make sure I got the damage modifier on there. Okay, good. 
and great X damage. Oh boy. Eh, I've done better. Uh, you have indeed done better, but the poor guy is looking pretty damn sorry for himself at this point in time and very, very much wishing that his friend hadn't come out and interrupted. Um, Scamanos, you're still hiding on the roof. Yeah, I am. Um, I was going to say not for much longer, but I wish to move over to this roof and then shoot down at uh, one of these guys. Okay, can you make me an athletics check to jump between it? I... It's not a particularly difficult check, the roofs are around the same kind of height. Athletics or acrobatics? Um, hmm, maybe acrobatics actually. Good, because that's my one with plus six. Oh, for fuck's sake, I rolled a one. Oh, thank god it was the wrong one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well, that was lucky. <laughs> yeah, you make it. You manage to jump onto the next roof, no problem, and you land nimbly on your tiptoes. Wonderful. Now I kill someone. Okay, who are you shooting at? Um. You've got range on any yeah. of those. You can see all of them above the roof. Though this guy is probably going to be a little bit harder to hit yeah, than the I others. Yeah, horrible feeling you were going to say that. And this one's kind of below this yeah, roof. Yeah, I wasn't going to so. aim at him anyway. Prone um, targets give you disadvantage anyway. Uh, I guess I'll... Uh, they would be surprised, wouldn't they? So I'd have advantage. Um, I'm not really surprised by the fighting, no. Because well, do they see the... him, though? Yeah, but they wouldn't see me. No, that's true. Okay, yeah, advantage. Okay. Unseen attacker. I will shoot this guy. Hmm. Um, mainly because he's the main guy and I've got advantage, so I thought I might as well use that to my advantage, mm -hmm. funny enough. Uh, uh. I didn't actually wow. mean for that to be a terrible pun. However, it was, and I'm quite happy about the whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so what have I got? Plus four to hit. Okay. Plus four. Um, there's one, and there's two. I'm so glad I did the first one. So Ooh. I got an 18. <laughs> yeah, that hits. Roll for damage. <laughs> that was against this one, you said. Yeah. Roll uh, d6 plus two. No, 2d6 plus two. Mm-hmm. Oh, for heaven's sake, what's with these ones tonight? This is <laughs> awful! Well, you've got one of the lowest rolls and one of the highest you could get, so... Yeah, oh, yeah, no. but I'm worried about that's, this. That's not too bad. Um, you strike the guy through the neck, and he goes down. Okay, Oh, well, fair that enough. didn't much. No! <laughs> I thought it was going to be the big bad boss guy that we all had to wow. get ready to defeat. Evidently not. Evidently. Just I should probably say we need to keep one alive at least. Well, to be fair, it was going to be that one. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently I killed him in one shot, so... And without okay. even getting your eye trophy. I know, right? <laughs> it's not good. Oh, dear. I'll get it later. Alrighty. Um, a thug pops out next to Varys. Oh. And uh -oh. seeing as you're the one directly in front, he decides he's going to have a swing at you. Duck, Varus! Duck! Three more activities. And that hits four. <laughs> uh, four damage. It's about to see if I've just uh, been wait, one sorry, shot. Three damage. Clear. Three damage. My bad. Hang on, what the? Sorry, that's pl ah. Oh, I'm sorry, I did tell you I was out of it tonight. Five bludgeoning damage that is with his mace. Sorry, five bludgeoning damage. Looks mean. I I did forget to say 
I don't know if it's too late now, but with my bonus action I would have hid. Because I can do that now. Yeah, okay, fine. You could be ducked up, but duck back down behind the roof. Considering or the guy I shot died, I don't think it matters too much, and he's behind everyone. Okay, uh, test run. It's my turn. Yeah. So this guy in front of me has 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 popped up, right? Yep, he's popped up, and he swung and hit Varys pretty badly in the back. It is time to to rush up and bludgeon. Do the bludgeoning. Back. Okay, how do I play this game again? <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Uh, Roll it's... a d20 and add your strength and your proficiency. Because you're proficient in bludgeoning weapons. This one? Yep, that hits wow. well for damage. Oh god. I haven't actually attacked with my weapon through this yet. Okay, so... Wait, I think I clicked the wrong one. She did. That was one-handed, but she's holding it two-handed. That's the one. Okay, oh, it was worse. <laughs> Don't. You managed to conk the guy on the head for five damage. He looks slightly dizzy. Okay, Eskal? Um... I'm going to attack using um, Eldritch Blast and the guy with the very, very bright top on. Okay, um, Eldritch Blast is a cantrip. Yep. Remember you? Okay, that's fine. Remember you guys haven't rested, so you haven't recovered any spell slots from previous weeks or anything. I know. <laughs> okay, just making sure. Okay, go for it. Ooh. Dang it! No. What? Oh, wait, hang on. Let me have a. Let me double check. Does that? Nope. Just misses them. I'm afraid. Are they not it wearing kind of... any armor? <laughs> yeah, they got leather armor and stuff on. Um, they've just also got very nice, brightly coloured clothing. Um, it kind of fizzles over his shoulder. Um, it actually did hit the, his boss, but the boss is now dead on the ground. So. You know, that's just bad luck, really. Um, okay. From the house behind Pascal and... Yeah. Um, what's your name? Tessrem. <laughs> Come, I'm sorry, it's cares. been a very long day. <laughs> it's been a very, very long day. Come, a pair of bandits. Um, they decide to take a run towards you lot. The first one manages to run past Eskal. Eskal, take a free attack. Um, okay, I will poison spray him. Go for it. Um, um, it's a free to... attack, it's not a free spell. Uh, oh, yeah, that's true. So I you can't, can't use, use that as a reaction. No, 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 you can use your weapon, um, weapon. so short sword. Okay. Whichever weapon you would have had out. Quarter staff. Quarter staff, yeah. So, yeah, roll to hit. That hits, roll damage. Go. Okie dokie, you managed to hit him quite smartly on the back of the legs and he stumbles slightly but still manages to get to Tessren. However, he misses her completely. That stumble was enough to be his undoing. 
The first thief decides he's going to go for you, Mr. Scal. Yay! But also misses. She's rolling my dice. Awesome! I am rolling his dice, yes. Everyone will be pleased with this, I'm sure. Um, Gwynnim, as you are heading down the streets towards where the girl Franny, who's now happily chatting away to you, says your friends are, can you roll me a perception check, please? Okay. Here comes the one. Oh, the card sheet's gone again. Oh, God. oh yeah, I'm trying to. Okay. Lol. <laughs> there it is. Wow, Dan. You're starting to forget why it is you're here again. <laughs> oh my god. Dan is never seen I from don't... again. He goes to the whorehouse <laughs> and this is it. <laughs> it's no wonder Jack's taking so long to find you. Oh dear. Um, right, back to the beginning. Uh, thief number one uh, decides to run the pod as, you know, is the fashion in the, these times. Mm -hmm. However, that's a crit fail. Mm. He does, however, save himself from his crit fail. He doesn't quite manage to drop his knife at this point in time. Damn. His thug friend also runs over to bring in some support. And um, this time he does hit for five damage. Two, please. Two, please. Okay. Um, the first bodyguard takes a bit of a wild swing at Pod in an attempt to, you know, not die. Um, he's just carrying the one dagger at the moment, having unsuccessfully chucked one at you, but he surprisingly enough actually manages to hit you with it. Apparently the nearly dying has given him some energy, and he hits you for three damage, which is reduced down to one. One. Okay. I freaking love rage mode. <laughs> <laughs> Varys. Uh, I'm gonna twat this guy on the head. Okay. Go for it. After everyone's like, yeah, Paul will be fine, we can just leave him to it. Honestly, I probably will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hit him on the head. Twonked him for four. Well, you need to roll the hit first. Oh, should I? <laughs> well, if you hit him, you can do four damage. No strength mod? There you go. Uh, yep, that hits, and four damage is done. What's your strength, Josh? Uh, ten plus zero. Okay. Yeah. Okay, hot. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> um, okay, the the one in black is the one that's dealt the most damage to me, so he's gotta mm -hmm. go. Okay. And a swing. Boom. Yeah, that hits. How would you like to kill him? Oh well, let's see. Let's see what the damage looks like. Mm -hmm. Basically, how chunky shall the salsa be this time? Pretty chunky. That's wow. Well, let's put it this way: he's on one health, and you just did eleven damage. So, an older version to D and D that w that still would have been an insta to kill. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go for evisceration. A fine mist appears before you. That's a bit more than evisceration, but I'll take it. <laughs> Scavenos. Um, I oh, will I just get shoot blood covered at in these this things. friend here. Okay. 
Um, Roll the hit. Again, it's still a surprise, isn't it? Because I'm still hidden attacker. Mm -hmm. I like being hidden. Uh, da -da -da -da. I'm actually going to roll it from the thing this time. Mm. I know, right? Uh, short bow attack. Short bow, I choose you! Wow, these oh. ones today! Boy, am I oh. glad I roll with advantage. <laughs> oh, Dang. yeah, that's right. Yep, that one hit. <laughs> Holy Thankfully shit. Thankfully for you. Um, roll for damage. Remember to double. Hell yeah, do. No, wait, why Whoa. is that rolling? Oh, it rolled with advantage on that as well. How? I think. No, that no. doesn't um, normally... why did that no, roll 13 for... piercing damage. No, wait. That, that it rolled right. like 4d6 for some reason. Mm hmm. I don't know why it did that. I'll tell you what. Okay, roll uh, again. I'll just. Uh, yeah, manually. Yeah. I'll just manually do well, the... the I'll just manually do, do the yeah. damage, I think. There we go. Manually do the damage. He, he, That's a good he roll. dies. <laughs> oh, Probably. you managed. To, you're on a strip roll this week, and you managed to shoot that one through the neck as well. Perfect. I see you're going for the neck rather than the face these days. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> Can't imagine. Okay, the thug that Varys decided to bop on the head. Um, Varys, cool odds or evens? Evens. He go decides that he's going to go for Tesseren this time. Oh, and again, sorry, I use hide after. Yeah, yeah. I will remember it on my actual turn one of these days. Um, having been bopped on the head first by Varys, then Tesseren, he decides mm, go for the squishy healer. However, his going for the squishy healer does not work out so well for him. Tesseren, it's now your turn. I would like to uh, trade blows. Ooh. So I think, yeah, I think I got the right one that time. That trick. Yep, that hits. Roll for damage. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. Nicely. Here we go. Done. Damn. That's one hell of a hit on the head. Boom. Hang on, was yeah. that a crit? No. Um, no, it's if it was a crit you add an extra eight, but um hey. Yeah, that was that was pretty darn nice. Um okay, yeah, you give him a decent you basically duck under his blow and then give him a Decent bop in a place where the sun don't shine. He's <laughs> in a lot of pain. I take it it's safe to assume that Tezrin's dealing non-lethal damage unless specified otherwise. Uh, yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah, I figure it's a bunch. Okay, Escal, your turn. Escal is looking slightly. Uh by the fact that someone's attacking Tesseren and just um, deals non-lethal damage to them with her quarter stuff. Okay, uh, is that the thief here? Yep, that one. Okay. This is great. Are you not confused just... by the fact that someone just died in front of you from a mysterious Bap. source? <laughs> uh, that we could probably figure out what happened. Roll for damage. Non-lethal damage, though. <laughs> yep, that's Even though fine. It's a They're crit. still alive. They're still alive. You managed to bop him nicely on the shoulder, and there's a bit of a crunch, but uh, he's Ooh. still standing. Seriously? I just critted the guy. No, you didn't. It was crit yeah, damage, but not crit attack. Oh, okay. It, he, he's not actually been hit on yet, so... Yeah. Um, Gwyn, you're getting fairly close to this uh, alleyway now. Can you roll me another perception check? Oh, lol. <laughs> hey! It was actually, it's a few alleys away now, but you can hear some kind of yelling and clashing in the distance. 
Oh, sounds like trouble. The kid who's giving you, uh, the who's guiding you there, looks a bit nervous. It's actually it. My group often get into brawls when it can be easily avoided with social interaction. So, um, um, well, yeah, that's just so, bloody charming. That is. She doesn't look much comforted <laughs> by this and says, "Well, they did have a lot of weapons, right?" Yeah, I think so. So, yeah, I think I'll, uh, I'll, I'll. Go and see what's going on there. Um, do, you, do you want me to take you any further, Miss? Uh, how how certain am I, am I that it's you guys fighting? What what's what's the deal? Um, well, you you you're starting to get your memory back a little bit now, and you feel like this is something that could be your group, but you've. You're not certain about this. All you know is that there's a fight in the direction your group might be. Uh, You're gonna end up at a cockfighting ring, aren't you, or something? <laughs> I, think, I think I'll have to. Um, I think I'll just stay with Franny then. Uh, maybe, maybe there isn't. I'm not sure. Let's keep going. I'll protect you. Okay, Miss. I'll draw. I'll draw my sword. To signify that I'm ready for battle. Are you really ready for battle? <laughs> she's she's still looking a little bit wary, but she's going with it. I mean, you know, you're a girl with a sword. You seem to you're probably going to be all right to stick around with. Um, okay, back to the top. Um, our thief friend here decides. Once again, that this half orc is quite sturdy and needs taken down. Um, however, he's not going to be the one to do it. Huh. And neither is his thug friend, who critically fails. And wow, he fails his save, and he does two damage to himself, managing to fumble his cord stuff and dropping it on his foot. <laughs> Um, and and that guy's he, dead. Yep, he's very dead. Sorry, I forgot to put the marker on him. Oh, oh wrong flipping. Stop that. There. there we go. Okay, Varus, your turn. I want to twonk the guy in the bollocks. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> That, that's a very specific shot you're taking there, friend. You, yep. you, you can actually take an aimed shot, but it does make you roll with disadvantage. Fuck, I'm gonna twonk him on the head again. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever wants to go for the aimed shots, I don't know why. Hey, I did. Um, with the arm. Unfortunately, your twonking ah, to yeah. head or bollocks, whichever you prefer, fails. Hod. Cry. But sure, there is an advantage to taking an aim shot. Oh, let's there see is, here. but it's harder, so. Yeah, yeah it's um, an advantage for you, you gotta watch someone in a lot of pain. Pretty much. <laughs> if we do twonk them in the bollocks, then I imagine they're, they're probably, probably out incapacitated for a round. For a round yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to unhide <laughs> this bit, by the way. Rounds. Just deciding real quick, uh. Which one I want to... Oh, I know how to do this. Oh! Thug! D2? Oh, Thank you, oh, that he's was choosing. just a coin toss. Yeah, yeah okay, he's choosing. That was my, my picking my target, so going after the thug then. Okay. Taking a... I'm gonna take a um, uh, reckless attack, so advantage on it. Okay. Uh, that's a, that's Unfortunately for you, that's a critical fail. Your attack is too reckless, and you swing wildly. Alex. Oh wait, you got advantage, didn't you? Yeah, so that's fine. Because of how reckless I was, I didn't drop my axe. No, you didn't drop your axe, but uh, it it went far, far wide. Scamming off. Out of advantage. Out of advantage rolls. That one was not good. Uh, I'm Could going to shoot worse. this friend in the face. 
well not technically in the face but that seems to be where it's going tonight so you know mm -hmm, okay Oh, no, I watched that worry. tip over from the 12 to the 2. <laughs> uh, 19? In 19, yeah, that's very definitely a hit. Perfect. Ugh, kind of rubbish. 7 mm. damage. Yeah, still respectable. You managed to... You don't quite go for the face at, at this point in time, but you stick him in the shoulder. Okay. And... You know, it, it does its bit. Tess Ren? Hello. Hello. Um, I guess I'll bap this, uh, this bald looking guy. Okay, do the bet. From what I remember, the bold looking guys are the stronger ones, so. They take a little while to take down. Yeah, they got a lot of health. Um, no, that just about Aww. misses. You do hit him, but that vest that he's wearing is made out of some pretty strong stuff, and it doesn't actually do anything. His abs start to ripple. <laughs> no, his abs don't ripple. But his abs have nothing on pods. Just, like, God knows who made it. It was probably the dwarfs or something. They're very good at making good under underclothing. Um... I don't know why that detail is <laughs> a thing, off. but apparently it is. Um, Escal, you'll go. Um, I'm going to attack the same guy with my quarter staff again. Thief again? Okay. And again, not to kill. Uh, that misses, I'm afraid. Okay, at this point in time. The thieves had quite enough of being hit by you. So... He's gonna turn around and have a swing at you. And I'm gonna drop my dice. And he's my gonna dice. miss! Because I'm rolling with Shane's dice tonight and that's just how he rolls. Basically, I should have tried yeah. to intimidate the guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Gwynnum, you're pretty much one alley off at this point in time. If you want, you can sprint over and you'll be able to take part in the next round. Okay. Um, well, I'll say I, I can... I, I, I'm I pretty sure that it's the group now, then. Yeah, or... you recognize a couple of the yells. There's there's a certain half-orc whose yell seems particularly familiar. <laughs> 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 well, that just sounded like a murloc. <laughs> 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 oh. right. Okay, I'll say, Franny, um, it sounds like my friends are in trouble. Um, it's best that you um, go back now. Yeah, she doesn't need telling twice. She nods and then runs back off. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, never mind. Oh, I was going to give her like a silver piece or something. You but never mind. There is time to stop. Throw it after. Franny! Catch! <laughs> um, Roll to hit. This kid is surprisingly dexterous, and she snatches the coin out of midair, grins at you, and goes on on her way. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, you can roll me initiative for. Well, you'll go last next turn, I think, seeing as you arrived last. So. Okay. Well, I don't need to roll initiative then, I guess. Yeah. I it just kind of makes sense, you're just arriving, so... Cool. You now have five initiative, well done. Woo. Um... Okay. Our thief friend... Pod's BFF... Misses again. His thug <laughs> friend... Also misses again. Can touch this. Barris! Off you go! I bet you Talk guys are glad... Head. I bet you guys are glad that she's rolling with my dice tonight. Wait. Um. Yeah, they wasted their only good rolls on their new. Yeah, apparently. Um, is that is that is that just a bat? Yeah, I hit him in the head. Okay, yep, it hits. Glancing blue, but it hits. <laughs> yep, that'll do it. Boom, 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 boom. Awesome, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> well. 
a strong word to use. It lightly taps him. A tickle is on. Just him. passes by. <laughs> I scratch the end of his nose. Pod. Okay. Um. Well, I'm just gonna take that 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 wide swing from at, at the thug earlier and just continue my my motion, turning into the the thief for the <laughs> okay, next swing. Roll to hit. That's what I meant to do the entire time. Uh huh. I'm sure. You make it look really classy. Well, we'll see how well he rolls. It's the four. That was a bummer. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately <laughs> well, for you. Uh, I should have declared your, my... Your save doesn't really work out and the thief manages to jump back out of the way. I guess it's too late to... Uh, the reckless attacks. By the way, did you give them advantage on their attacks on me? Because they should have had it. Uh, yes. Okay. It, it's Shane's dice. No one does well with Shane's dice. <laughs> uh, uh, but it's too late to say reckless attacks... Uh, you know what? Probably not, to be honest. I mean, I mean well, I don't know. You've already I rolled, had just called so. Skaminos' turn, so yeah, probably it ought to be. Right, Skaminos? It's fine, I'll finish him off for him, so I'm going to go for the fog again. Uh huh. And hit. Yep, that'll do it. And hit. There you go. Another nine damage on him. Excellent. Uh, that gets him in the leg. He's starting to look pretty worse for wear now. Would you say somewhere near the knee? No. Mm. No, I, I would not. Very definitely the thigh. Thug McFuggerson misses hitting Tess Ren, whose turn it now is. Hello. <laughs> Your turn it now is. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, I'm going to kill Yoda. I, I mean this. <laughs> I mean, hit him with the face, with the head. Crook. Uh, yep, that hits. Ooh, and it does a pretty good job. Um, okay, he's now bleed. Well, he's not bleeding because, you know, bludgeoning damage, but he's very, very bruised at this point in time. Eskel? Um, Eskel's just starting to look slightly confused at the fact that Tess Renner's doing better than her and <laughs> attacks the thief again. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> uh, yep, that hits. Oh, dang! Ooh. Ouch. Oh dear. You're having my luck on rolls tonight, Lucy. I really am. Apparently. Uh, the thief decides to return the blow. Ooh. And hits for... three damage. Gwyneth? You, say, you said three? Yeah. Wait, so... Where am I on the Okay, map? so Gwynim. Let me move my bits around. Um on you've Which appeared. Thief? Which thief are... This one. Okay. He's dead. Gwynim, you appear at the start of the alley. You're running down, you hear the fighting. What you gonna do? I'll run to here. Mm -hmm. And I say, people I vaguely recognise. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I see that they're in trouble, and I 
d uh, use my action to move as well and move over. So probably okay. about here. Yep, that's fine. You can't. Yeah, you can just about get past Esco actually if you want to. Okay. Hello, everyone. Who the bloody hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who the bloody hell are you? It's <laughs> right, no one can see me, so... <laughs> I just hear a disembodied voice yelling, Who the bloody hell are you? <laughs> He's done. Okay, um... Back to the thief, you guys are just exchanging all the blows. Um... Ooh, that one hits for two damage. Cod? Before or after? Uh, before, so that goes down to one. Okay. And um, then... Yep. Oh, are you doing a reaction? No, oh, okay, I thought, I thought you said... I thought you were giving me my turn and already rolled both of them. Go ahead. Oh, sorry, no. Um, and then the thug's also going to take his turn... Ah, uh, th but that one misses. So, Varys? Another attempt oh, yeah. at trying to beat them up with my quarterstaff. Okay, attempt away. Ooh. I hate this game. Yeah, unfortunately the attempt is just that. Pod! Uh, let's go back to the thug. Taking okay. this good hearty swing at him using reckless attacks, just I okay. I did not like missing. I, Pod Pod gets angry when he misses. <laughs> okay. Yep, you that hits. So lucky. <laughs> All right, so great axe taken. Come on then. Hope balls. That's a one again. Jesus. Uh, is, is there some kind of curse with the fact that I've started using Shane's dice here? Apparently, yeah. I'm rolling really well. Everyone can't roll for shit. Okay, you, you knew this a... in advance. He's not going down, but you've hit him pretty hard in the head. He's on his last legs at this point in time, really. Um, okay. McFuggerson? Misses his swipe at Tesrin. Tesrin, uh, your response? Wait, why don't I get a turn? Oh, sorry, Scamanos. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Sorry. sorry, you were so well hidden. I didn't even see I it know, was right? your turn. <laughs> I'm going to shoot at the fug again. Funny enough. Yep. If you hadn't had already guessed. Uh huh. It's going to be a one of them and a one of them. Ooh. But unfortunately, the first one's a crit, so he's probably dead. <laughs> Considering that. Wow. Three d six. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty low roll for 3d6, but it'll do. It's, it's low, but it's certainly good enough. You Distinctly get average. him through the heart. Lovely. Shut through the heart, and you're too lazy. <laughs> <laughs> terrible person. I'm glad that someone decided to go there. It gives me faith, I'm all about faith the in humanity. Uh, Tessren? Yes, hello. I would like to uh, continue the uh, bludgeoning. What's <laughs> 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 bludgeoning, please? Been drinking or something. Or is oh, this wow, just what nice. happens when she breaks? Aww. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, the bludgeoning does not succeed this time. I'll get those meddling kids next time. I'm sure you will. In the re-bludgeoning. Uh, <laughs> the re-bludgeoning, the revengeance. <laughs> <laughs> re-bludgeoning, revengeance. Esco, would you like to do any re-bludgeoning or revengeance? Yes, yes I would. <laughs> Same guy, still not yeah. trying to kill. Yeah. I don't think that's a big concern at the moment, to be honest. <laughs> Hey, Caramba. No, no, it's not. He takes ah. 
somewhat surprised by the appearance of the new individual, he takes a swipe at Gwyn and misses horribly. Hang on, I Gwyn? still haven't finished my turn! Oh, sorry, sorry. I look at him and just say, So, most of your friends are dead now. What do you want to do here? Roll your Intimidate. Yay! He has a think about it. He doesn't stop fighting exactly, but he doesn't do anything for his next turn either. Gwyn? I am going to swing at this guy. That's in front of Oz. Okay, roll that guy. hit. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> um, I'm not sure if stap is a roll to win. <laughs> a roll to win? No, a roll to hit. There you go. Um, that's on the thief. Yep. Uh, that one misses, unfortunately. You haven't quite got yourself back together yet. Yep. That's going to be your excuse for the next, like, three weeks of bad rolls. Okay. Let's when him just screams, see. stop! <laughs> <laughs> that was your real action. <laughs> Okay, so we've got that, and we've got this. Okay, the thief, as per usual, does his thing. Has a go for pod, critically fails, but manages to stop himself from fumbling. The thug is dead. Barris! Down, dead. Bludgeon in part 4. <laughs> the re-bludgeonification. Bludgeoning oh, after yes. dark. Misses. This game hates me. <laughs> what? If it's any consolation, I don't think she will ever use my dice again. <laughs> I have a lobster. Game still hates me. T tell me has a lobster. She wants you guys to know. I what? have a <laughs> What? She's being assaulted right now, don't mind her. Okay. <laughs> That's fine, continue. Is, is she okay? She's fine. Carry on, carry on. Okay, well it's your turn, so carry on. Okay. No. I... <laughs> Would you girls calm down? <laughs> Uh, obviously I'm going to be taking a reckless attack swing at the uh -huh. thief. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. And you finally hit. <laughs> yep, you hit the thief. I have a lobster. Well, it's it's a hit. And it's something. Did you want this to be lethal damage? Pod is in, not in a state of mind to be dealing non-lethal damage right now. Okay, yep, you decapitate him. Kerchop. And it's Kerchop. really disturbing <laughs> hearing Emily laugh after Charlotte said, You decapitate him! It's like, oh my god! <laughs> so, I still have movement after that. Uh -huh. So, let's see here. Oh, that's plenty of room. I go over here to menace this thug who's been swinging at my my healer for a very long time. To be <laughs> fair, <laughs> fair enough, I really. <laughs> Scamming us? Uh, I shoot the thug in the face. Okay, roll hit. Uh, that's a nineteen. That will do it. I shot the fuck in the face. There you go, eight damage. Not too bad. Yes, you did. Um, was that lethal or non-lethal? 
Uh, it's an arrow, so probably yeah, fairly yeah. lethal, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, okay, the thug's dead. That's kind of... goes... It just kind of goes in somewhere not particularly interesting, but pierces something important whilst doing so, and he just collapses. So Pod runs over and looks at him, and he drops dead, just like he should. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. You feel pretty bad. Roll to feel badass. <laughs> By looking at someone to die. <laughs> okay. A thug appears at the end of the alley. You feel average. Tesseran. I... Oh, my guy died. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. You took too long, I killed him for you. Oh. Okay, um... I think I'm gonna try to get out of the way of Pod, who seems to be having some, uh... Pod mode? Yeah. I'm gonna- I'm gonna actually take my turn to do that, because it's- it's a bit concerning. Um... <laughs> did- did a guy just get decapitated in front of me? Um, was I against the guy? You were, the you were decapitation back was over. That over was just here. an arrow to the limb. Oh, okay. So this guy suddenly died in front of me, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna just get, gonna, you know, stand back a little bit. I have my lobster okay. back here. Yeah. Where did where did this lobster come from? I, I don't know. It is a mysterious lobster, isn't it? <laughs> of course it is. Um, Eskel. Um, I'm just going to, again, look at the thief and go, So, you've got a half-orc that's right next to you right now. And look at what he's just done to your friend. Um, roll... Uh, yeah, roll for intimidation. God damn it. Well, unfortunately for you, he was concentrating so hard on fighting you that he wasn't really paying attention to what was going on with his friends at that point in time. Um, so he decides that he's gonna go ahead and try to attack you. And Sigh. he hits for three damage. You gotta love how weak daggers are. Yeah, I'm still gonna need some heals pretty bad. Hey, at least he didn't hit you with both the daggers. True. Gwyn! Stabby You're stabby! Same guy. Same guy, yep, that hits. Non lethal damage, by the way. Okay. Nice hit though. Uh, yeah. Yep, and you. Well, pretty skillfully, this is um, obviously a Tower Elf technique that has been passed down through generations. <laughs> um, <laughs> that she somehow managed to remember. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> sorry, Shane's not looking at me. 10 internet points if you get the reference. And um, you managed to knock out the guy. Yes. She is a very yes. bad hobbit. I don't see why. Yes, Gwyn Armstrong, there you go. <laughs> My next D&D &D character is going to be called Armstrong. <laughs> Just saying. Hey, um... Armstrong the hob the halfling? What? You got a problem with that? No. He's, he's gonna be so built. He's gonna be amazing. I just, I just want you to call him Armstrong Proudfoot. <laughs> okay. Um, at I'll this come point up with something. Time. Soon. Um, an elven woman, a uh, wood elf, again runs out from the building uh, to the end. She's obviously been. Biding her time a bit, you'd guess, to see what exactly is going on here. 
Um, so she's pretty damn fast, and she's almost reached you by the time this turn ends. Oh boy! Now she's in range. She's a monk. Hmm, that... She's actually not. She just took a beat. Ah, um, Varys. Mobile yeah, that you bitch is about to get thunderweaved. Oh no! Oh. You yeah. know you have so many green covers there is as a free action. That's his uh, last one, I think. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, let me check. What's hers? She gets plus. It's a. Uh... Um, I take it your spell save isn't 19. Oh. Holy okay. shit, what a roll. <laughs> she takes half damage. So he still rolled a 2, and then just gets halved. Mm-hmm. 5 damage. So that goes down to... There? Okay, um, she... No, she seems to be somewhat surprised by the, the loud clap to, coming towards her, but... Shrugs it off reasonably well. Hold. I see her shrug this off. Oh boy. Please roll a <laughs> one after that. <laughs> it would be perfect. <laughs> mm. Yep, still going for reckless attacks. Mm-hmm. He's just, he's just going all out with these. Okay. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> I'm assuming her AC isn't 22. Wow. No. No, it's not. That hits. Do you oh, 14. think? 14. Wait, Jesus what? Jesus Christ. Oh, hang on. How, how, that how did that happen? How did that happen? Uh, 1d12. Is that right? Yes, yes it is. Plus five. Right, yes. Yeah, yeah. okay. I okay. forgot that you use a d12 now. Dang. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. That's the only problem with that mode, you can't see what it rolled. I think ouch is the word that she's looking for as she yelps in pain. Scaminos? She's gonna yelp even more now. Well, she probably won't because I miss. Um. um. Uh, Actually, the first one just manages to hit her. Perfect. Uh, I would be going for non-lethal at this point. Okay, um, you so don't a quite manage to shot. kill her, but she is heavily bleeding from her leg after that. As as I know, we're looking for a woman. I would not kill the only woman on the battlefield. Okay, the thug who came out with her um, charges over to Pod to swing at him and misses Tessren. This thief behind us has still managed to uh, not die? He's unconscious. Um, he's been ah, okay. knocked unconscious. Alright, um... Oh god... This is a hard decision, um... Probably not going to factor into your decision considering past events, but Pod has taken a decent chunk of damage. As have I, I'm currently under half health. Pod's still over half. You, you hear a disembodied voice come from somewhere magical, saying, Stop Pod from killing her. <laughs> Someone. <laughs> Good luck with that. Hmm. Yeah. I twat Pod in the back. Considering, hmm, I haven't been like stabbed by Pod yet, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to bap the uh the thug. Okay. You can skirt around the outside. Roll to hit.
Mm. Oh dear. That's unfortunate. Unfortunately, that misses Escal. Um, I will, I guess, Eldritch Blast the Thug. Okay, roll to hit. Yep, that hits. Roll your damage. Nice. Much better. Okay, he is hit full in the chest by uh, that, and you feel very satisfied with it. Quin him. So, I can't remember. Um, if I attack with a spell that require that is uh, based on intelligence. Do, mm -hmm. do it's my does my intelligence modify the damage at all, or is it just only if it flat? specifically says so? Yeah, depends on the ah, spell. Right. Oh, most, it most, most spells, it's hit, a no. So get your proficiency plus your intelligence to yeah, your yeah, yeah. attack roll, but not to the damage. Most spells, it's a no. So I'll actually, um, actually, yeah, I'm not going to do a spell. Actually, I'm going to move forward and attack this lady. You hear yet another disembodied voice. For the love of God, keep her alive! Okay. I'm fairly sure when you yell, you should probably come wow. out of hiding. Well, Gwyn's going to keep her alive because she didn't hit. So... <laughs> Um, pod, seeing as you haven't done it yet today, odds or evens? Um, odds. He goes pods. And thus okay. my choice is forever set. Gwyn, the elf lady decides to turn okay. to attack you. Let me... Double check. So she's going to try to stab you with a pair of daggers. Oh no. Um, 17 and 5. So I'm guessing that one of them hits you? Mm. Uh, What's your AC what, again? My AC is 18. So. Oh, yeah, okay. So they just managed to miss. One of them misses completely, the other just scrapes off your armor. Though there is a slight rip in your clothing now. Gwyn gets Feel a little bit mad. Feel free to be mad. pissed off about this. Varys! Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna pass my turn. I can't really think of anything to do right now. <laughs> okay, pass? Uh, okay, so... Elf Lady, odds or evens? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh dear. Odds. Sharp? Uh, oh, I don't know. Let's go for odds. Good news! The elf lady isn't dying this turn. That thug, on Ooh. the other hand, is, uh... Well, he's got a lot of health. He's probably not gonna die either. <laughs> but, reckless attacks. Okay. Bloody hell. Oh boy, I hope it gets stabbed. Yep, hits. Ah, oh, really? Well, we've seen the best of times, and we've seen the worst of times. And this is somewhere in the middle. That was a two on the damage roll. <laughs> Pretty yeah, dang close to the worst. At least he can hit yeah. his six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, Scaminas. Uh, this is at the thug. Mm-hmm. Yeah, second would hit. I think the yeah. first would have hit as well, actually. Yeah, they, yeah, both, they did. both did. And that's a 2d6. Uh-huh. On the thug, it's lethal damage I'm going for. Okay, well, not today it isn't. But he's got an arrow sticking out of his shoulder now. He's not looking too good. By the way, I'd like to mention that I have rolled a 1 plus a 6 on my damage about four times tonight. Yeah, I had noticed. That's I... 
unbelievably I don't know what the unlikely. Are. <laughs> it's um, pretty low. Tesseren, odds or evens? Uh, evens? Uh, good news, he decides to go for pod. Good. And rolls 16 to hit. There to hit. That is indeed a hit. Okay, five damage to pod. Two. Two damage to pod there. Um, Tesseran, your turn. Okay, uh... Can I attempt to, like, disarm this guy? Um, I'm not quite sure what the rules for disarming stuff. Put me be... in a grapple. It would be an aimed. Yeah. It would either be an aimed shot if you're using your quarter staff or a grapple, which is opposed strength checks. Yeah. Grapple. So which grapple? No. Okay. <laughs> Both roll strength. Oh god. Let me double check. What okay. What? Is. Uh, roll d20 plus whatever your strength modifier is. I don't think you have one, but you might do. So What's that now? Charlotte needs to be a fourteen. Ooh, Tesseran, you you win. Yay! So I've disarmed the earth thug. Yeah, but you've well, you've taken his mace off him anyway. Oh. Um. <laughs> I doesn't mean to say he doesn't have Avista. Wait. He, oh, okay. So you're not. You saying know, but you've now stolen inter- his mace. So, My you know. intention was not to, like, get his arms off of his body, <laughs> just, just so everyone knows. <laughs> I we was know actually going to go with that. It's like, I was hoping you would crit. <laughs> so Charlotte just said, you rip his arms off of his body. <laughs> that would be awesome. I mean, horrible for the character. <laughs> It's too late, you've already said awesome. <laughs> oh god, Te- uh, Escal. Escal's kind of looking at the thief she's subdued, looking at the thug that Tesseran has just disarmed, and then she just grins, cracks her knuckles, and Eldritch blasts the fucker. Okay, roll to hit. That hits, roll damage. Yay! Lethal or non-lethal? Ah, let's go non-lethal, why not? Okay, the guy is shot back a few steps and crumples. Gwyn! Is there any way, um, Wumple, is there any way to actually calm you down in any way? There's a spell for calm emotions, um, though he might not like that, uh, once <laughs> the spell wears off. Um, basically, uh, let's see here, you weren't here for last night's episode. No. Or last week's, rather. There's not really any surefire way. Oh, okay. It is not, not like dump a bucket of water on, that's probably just gonna make him target you next time. Oh, right, okay. Well, I will attack the, uh, the lady then. Okay. Again. Rough hits. And I say, in chat, you tore my robe. <laughs> I am angry at you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Gwen. I can fix that. Good emoting. I am very angry. If that hits. Oh man. <laughs> Whoa! Well, you cut it pretty badly across the chest, but she's still standing. And also, her robes are now, uh, are now ripped too, oh. so. Don't you do know. this! Don't do this! Don't do what? Calm down. Charlotte? I, what was I going to. I, I wasn't going to. Like, it's, it's, it's cut for cut. Nothing bad has happened. 
And I'm wind just goes. Right now. Ha! <laughs> I, I, I. She's fine. Carry on. Okay, Barris. Pass again. Pass. Uh, let me roll my rage check real quick, because people have been shouting, don't kill her, don't kill her. <laughs> Two. Uh, well, that, that doesn't... Oh, is it um, for your rage check? Yeah. Um, so... You've not yeah, been paying this... much attention to anything. Not really. So, taking a big old swing at Miss Elfie over here. Oh, oh, what do we got? Well, it's a hit. Yep. And... Um, eight damage. Yeah, you stab her through the stomach and she's dead. How do you stab axe? someone no! through the stomach with a great axe? <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot which oh, weapons you're doing. Okay, you cleave her through the stomach. There you oh, go. Oh, God. God it's just like Every Every like Esper. Esper. Okay. I, I look at the thief who's just kind of stood next to me and go, that wasn't Sigra, was it? Well, she's an elf, and also the thief is unconscious. Okay, I slap the thief until it, he wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> and then look, point his face at the body and say, That wasn't Sigra, was it? Pugs eyeing why, around why, looking for more targets in the meantime. Why are you slapping me? What? I repeat, that wasn't Sigra, was it? What? No, she's long gone. Who wasn't si- Oh man. Um. So I just kind of pat the thief on the head, disarm him completely, and then just tie him up. Okay. Um, Telemane, you're pretty shocked put by the entrails. Um, so... I'm like... What the hell is going on? Why are you guys here? <laughs> Pod starts lumbering toward the tied up the 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 oh, well the thief being tied up. Escal just moves in front of Pod and kind of looks at him and just goes Pod Can you hear me? Gwyn also does this. Pod, by this, by the time he w crossed that distance, he was able to look her directly in the eyes with focused eyes, nod, and then push her, and then move to push her out of the way. Pod, you're being uh, a very bad. At which point, Escal just goes, "Pod, leave the thief alone. Come on." I wish to talk to him. Are you going to talk to him without your axe? Him. Move. Escal looks very pissed off at this. Strength check. Oh my god. Oppose strength <laughs> checks, people. D20 plus your strength modifier. Oh god. Uh huh. Would that be me as well, given that I'm in the way? Whoever's trying to block um, me. Are you going to grapple? Just push, yes. push aside. You have to beat 16. Oh. Lucy Whoa. 19. Good job, Lucy. Yeah. very pissed And Gwyn right 22 now. with a crit. Okay, so Damn. Simultaneously, Gwyn and Eskel shove out an yes. arm, which Pod basically just bounces off the pair of them combined. <laughs> <laughs> the bad Eskel news is now I have to make pleased. another rage check roll. Oh, boy. Six. You're enraged. Not as badly as it could be, but you are oh enraged. You guys fucks. Pod's <laughs> eyes, the the whites of his eyes start reddening again like he does like in battle. Out of the way. 
Oh dear. You do realize what's going to have to happen, Charlotte, right? No. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> do not threaten the fucking warlock. Please do not threaten the warlock. Gwyn just walks away. She's, she's had enough of this. She's, she's just she's going shopping. Why do I have a feeling I'm going to magically die? And oh, this is where character God. flaws oh, actually start taking effect. Um, I think I might have just channeled here. What did you what roll? What did you roll? A 16. Uh, your eyes start glowing white. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. I get out popcorn and start to watch. Oh, God. Hang on, I... so, Charlotte, am, am I channeling full or am I... Not full, but there's a, um... <laughs> There's a certain silveriness about you right now. I look at the half orc and just go, You will not oppose me in this. And who the hell do you think you are? Um, question. So, because I failed to use um, my spell on Jack, does that mean that I've still got it? Uh, yeah, it won't use up the spell slot unless it's successful. Well, if it's, um, as in, like, it? one of my abilities. Sorry, not my spell. Um, if the ability is... Is that a free spell cast you get with the ability? I think so, yeah. Hang on, what's the ability called again? Fey Presence. Okay, let me... Well, firstly, let me find the... Oh boy. Uh, right, control F. It's page one oh three. Okay, thank you. One oh three. Oh three one one oh nine Um Yeah Uh I mean it says once you use this feature you can't use it again until you finish a short or long rest. So I think it counts as a used ability. However, you did that before the short rest, so it will be uh, back again now. Okay. Uh, so, pod. Saving throw for wisdom. Alright. Um, give me a... Uh, Varys and Tess Ren, you will also need to make a wisdom save here. <laughs> I'm going to die. Oh <laughs> no, you're not gonna yeah. die. No, Pod you're gonna be charmed. Pod oh. gives no shits. Oh god, dang it! His abs <laughs> ripple <laughs> with magic. Oh, Pod oh, saved. Fuck. However, Tesseren <laughs> is. Um, oh, for the love of fuck! Well, oh, Tesseren likes you help anyway. Me. Now she's willing to do pretty much anything you say. Uh, Varus actually wasn't caught in it. Was he not? Wasn't he? It's a cube, not a, not a not a sphere. So it's 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 in it's in one direction. It's a ten foot cube though. Oh yes. right, so that goes out to five. So it's like here. It centers on uh, on yeah, the face. Okay. Okay, not yeah, not on the center. The tree is okay. safe. Oh dear. <laughs> I just well, look at pods, look at Tesseran. <laughs> kind of out of the corner of my eye and just look at Pod again and say, if you do not want to incur the wrath of my god, you will not do this. Oh, that gives me an opportunity to roll another check. Oh, good. Pod just kind of stares and seethes but doesn't push any further. Okay. Good. I turn to the thief and say, look what I've just done to stop that guy from killing you. 
Are you going to help me now? Yeah, he's ready to cooperate. He just nods, like, yep. Yeah. No one has to check. Wait, no, never mind. He was behind. So, Sigra, spill. Uh, well, I mean, there's not a huge amount to tell, really. Um, basically, uh, Sigra hired, uh, hired the bunch of us to guard our house down the end of the alleyway uh, there. Um, I re- didn't, we weren't really expecting any trouble at all. She treated us well, came by a few times a month, relaxed, paid as well. I mean, damn, it's better than most other work you can get. Uh, do, get doing our kind of job, but yeah, it was it was cushy to be honest. That she took off earlier this afternoon. Took off where? Um, out west somewhere, I guess. I mean, she took the horse. I think she headed out that way. Hang on, what's going on with Dan? <laughs> Sorry, he's, he's having he's having mumble PC issues. Fun. Okay. Pod, um, since he can't get to the door, uh, starts looking in the windows of the house. Okay, the one you're currently looking into seems as though it's empty. Oh, I know it's not empty. Okay, okay uh, carry do you want on. to roll me a perception check? That's a three. That's a three. Um, you peer in, but it's a little bit dark in there and a little bit smoky. You can't see anything much. I'm continuing to interrogate the thief. I said, just say to him, what was it that she was wanting you to You cut out. No, oh, did I? Damn. Yep. Um, I asked the thief, what was it that Sigra wanted you to do here? What was she preparing? Uh, we just guarded the place for her. She kept all, she kept a bunch of stuff. Here. I mean, I, I mean, guards don't get paid that well. And the guy that dropped around recently was a bit off. But, like, mostly she just wanted us to keep an eye on her stuff. Okay, two more questions. I expect that you've probably got a bit curious, so what kind of stuff was it? Because I'm fairly certain you would have looked. And also, what guy? Um. Well, the, it was just all of her things, really. I mean, she kept some pretty nice bits and bobs around the place. I mean... There were a couple of locked rooms in uh, there, but she had like a study with a, with a bunch of papers and stuff and kept some things in the room. So I guess she just generally wanted people in to make sure some idiot didn't decide it would be a good uh, good plan to break in. Uh, the guy don't really know much. He was hooded and creepy. That's, I guess, a wizard. I mean, he just had that kind of aura about him, you know? Okay, and when did he come by? Uh, a couple of days ago. Just sort of came by for a bit. Not really seen him since. At which point I kind of look at Pod and the others and say, Okay, anything you guys want to ask? I would like to know where she went. He shrugs, I don't know, she didn't really tell us much about our comings and goings, and we weren't paid to know, so we didn't ask. She rode out west. Hmm. Um, I'm now going to just kind of get up and go into the building he indicated, and also go into the room, the study. Okay, so... As I do this, I kind of look up at Skamanos and say... Hey, you Skamanos. can't see Skamanos yet. He's still got well, twenty-two I, I stealth. Just, I, I just rolled a I twenty-two look, stealth check, so you'd have to up. roll a. 
I look up because I know that the arrows were coming from Scaminos at some point. Fair enough. And just go, hey, Scaminos, you want to come help? Might be some trinkets in it for you. I peer over the side. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. And you're finally no longer hidden. Okay, <laughs> so you two drop down. So you're heading into... Uh, sorry, let me ping it. So you're headed into this building over here, which has an entrance up this end. Uh, yes, I believe so. Okay. Alrighty, so let me um, cover some stuff. So basically, Apparently there Tessa is coming. Eska is really perturbed at how uh, charmed Tessa is right now <laughs> and just kind of pats her on the head awkwardly. Uh, okay. It only lasts one turn. So you had one turn's ten minutes. Oh no, six seconds. Is it six seconds? Oh, that's fine. She's fine then. Well, she's not charmed anymore. You're not quite sure what this is. Okay, so you guys had ah, it's down there. I see. Into that. <laughs> Sorry, there wasn't any room going off the other end, so I had to kind of maneuver around. I wondered what the hell was going on down there. It's like surely I would have been able to see over here. Okay, so you guys go the into building. the house. Um, there's a bunch of storage barrels in front of you and a corridor with a table in down to your right. Okay. Um, is that a door next to where Scaminos is? Like, just kind of up? Yeah, can you... It uh, is indeedy. Can you show up a tiny bit more? Okay. Like, maybe Sorry. half the wall. Just can't really tell if there's a door there or not. Sorry. E there you go. Ah, that's perfect. Okay. Down along there for you. Would have, I would have stopped here and peered around then if it was a door. Okay, um, so you peer around the corner. There's a set of steps going downwards. Okay, I say quietly there's a set of steps going down. Oh, hang on, sorry, my phone's going off. Piss off. Um, yeah, there's a set of steps going down. I think we should clear out the top floor first. Okay, sounds like a plan. I probably need some heals at this point, by the way. I don't know if Tesseran can heal me right now. Should be able to. Are you asking? Yes. Okay. Well, I I guess I'm gonna gonna heal her. Okay. Should I use a spell? Or should I use one of my one of my things? Um, how, no. how many spell slots do you have? How, uh, how much health is she missing? Um, over half. Of? Hang on, I'm just checking. I remember you've got uh, healing potions as well. Um, I'm missing 10 health. Yeah, healing potions are expensive though. While they're doing this, I'm looking in uh, this door down here. Okay, you that door is actually unlocked. You have a look in and it seems to be one of the bedrooms. I rummage. Investigation check. Way ahead of you. Eleven. Um, you find two gold. Nice. Uh keep it for yourself or communal pot. Okay. That one I'll just communal pot, sorry. <laughs> sorry, that was a... Uh... Add six to that and that's what the med kit healed for. Okay, healed you for 11 then, Esco. Perfect, thank you. Yeah. Okay, and while they're doing that, everyone else outside, are you gonna get up to anything much? Pod tries... Well, Pod uh, tries the door of the house that... Um... Okay. The Somebody door poked his head out of earlier. Is, uh, so the ones that people came out of were here. It's basically the bottom three people came out of. 
So the one that was asking for the password came from out of here? Um, he came from the house at the end, and then after the oh. whistle came out, the, the various thugs came from this bit. Oh, I thought the uh, guy asking for the password was right next to me. No, he basically came out of a door over here and came round the corner. Oh, I, okay, that that was that was confusing earlier then. Okay. Okay, sorry. So he actually did come out of there, so I'm more interested in that building. But, hmm. Let's see that this guy over here. I just sit down and stare at him. Just, just sit on the ground in front of him. He staring. backs away a little bit. Well, backs is a strong word. Small shuffles Scoops. on his ass away from you as much as he can. Okay. I don't get any closer. I just continue staring. Okay. Anyone else? Harris, Gwyn? I'm just overwatching the situation. Gwyn? I don't think Gwyn's with us right now. Uh, okay. Yeah, that seems... um, we'll go back to you lot then. I pretty much just continue to periodically work my way around on the doors, being quiet okay. and stealthy and the such. Okay, the room in the middle is locked. No, it's not. Um, D20 plus something. Is it just your proficiency you add to it, or uh, is that proficient yeah. in lock picking? Uh, it's well, it would usually be dex so proficiency plus dex. If it's plus dex, then that is. Let's have a look. Uh, Tessa, and you can't plus find two. anything of note. Not even a note. Yeah, that thing pops right open. <laughs> yeah, it does. Wow. Okay, so the door pops open. Are you going to open it? Quietly and stealthily, like I'll even do you a quietly and stealthily like check. Well, I'm I'm going to follow Scamanos now. By the way, you open it. Oh dear. Oh fuck. <laughs> Fun. Fuck my life. But I open it really stealthily with a twenty. <laughs> you, you open that door silent as the night. Hell yeah. That's uh that's that's quite a scene inside. So inside this uh, uh this room and you also get s Uh so inside this room you see a circle of r various runes and in the middle of it is a crescent of of sorts of blood. And there's a nice dead rat on the floor. Do I recognise this as the sort of same arrangement as the last thing that I drew? Um, it looks fairly different other than the rat. Okay. I, uh, let's have a look. I will turn to Escal and say, don't let Pod in here. We're not Hang on, don't a... let Pod. Not have... Yeah, it was Jack last. Oh, time. it was Jack last time. Yeah, wasn't Pod, it? Pod's not the one that. Yeah, had yeah, problems okay, sorry. Like yeah. That. Wrong half orc. Never mind then. <laughs> what? I, what I just you thought, the same? I, I just thought yes, basically. Um, can <laughs> I, I just do an investigation check on this guy or an Arcana check or something? Uh, uh Testron, you're just barging right on through, huh? Um, Tesseron, you're standing in blood and rap. Um. Feces. Tess, tess, tess no, there's no feces. Just um, tess run. Tess run. Tess run, um, tess run. Tess run. I, I'm, I'm she, just, she would have to get past I'm, both me and Lucy, and I'm, I'm just going to pop you back behind the table. There's a there's a nice stew on the table. You could inspect the stew if so you like. Me and Lucy will um, look at this thing, I suppose, and uh, try and determine what. Okay, the fuck uh, it is. Lucy, do you want to do your investigate check? Ugh, Would investigation or arcana be better? Up to you. Uh, remember, you also have your um, reading all languages thing. 
Oh, really? I roll really good, good point. Arcana. <laughs> we so both do. So I've got 17 on Arcana, and I'm also going to try and read the runes. Okay. Please don't so read them aloud. You... <laughs> uh, okay, so you guys have a good look at the runes. Um, you recognise this as some kind of ritualistic language, both of you. Um, ritualistic language, you think ritualistic magic in runes from a strange language. Um, Lucy, you have a look at reading it, but the runes are from, it's very strange, the runes are from multiple languages and scripts, actually including Elvish, and it's actually complete gibberish. I get out a piece of parchment and a quill and start to draw again. Uh, can you roll me a... Performance inter- check? Yeah, performance check. Oh shit, I hope that's not the two. Yeah, ten. Um, well, you screw up some of the runes, you don't really know much about this kind of thing other than it's a ritual, but you get the general idea down. Okay. Um... I guess that's probably a good place to leave it, to be perfectly honest. Probably, yes. I think that'll do for this this week. We've made uh, we've made some headway. Okay, um, guys, are you happy to leave it there, or does anyone want to do any final actions before we go for the night? Hold, Barris, Gwyn. I roll to eat the stew. You eat the stew and it's delicious. Are you sure it didn't have dead people in it? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Had half. How that. would I know? You could you could probably tell him in your life cleric and stuff. In my life. Also, I didn't write that it had dead people in it. Oh. Okay. Anyway, moving on. I think that's a very good place to stop, and if no one has anything else they would like to do. People on the main street. Pods waiting, just keeping the uh, captive company and keeping an eye on the other one in case he wakes up. I was going to say, we've actually got two, haven't we? We've got the thief and the thug. Yeah, the thug's still KO'd. Yeah, cool. Uh, Varus, you going to be doing anything? Ah. Good lord. That's a very big writing. No, it is not Soylent Stew. <laughs> uh, Varus is dead. Cool. He's turned into a tree. And Gwyn has also uh, gone shopping. Um, and I think that's all the actions that we've got. So I guess that's the end. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, Hobbit, go ahead and good. say your goodbyes and good days and whatever. Goodbyes, good days, whatever, adieu, my friends. Adieu. That was terrible, but go for it. Uh, Josh, if you're still alive. Nope. Nope. Uh, Lucy. Um. Let. Well, let's say next time, see me actually manage to subdue one of the half orcs. I want to try and do it someday. Bring it. Oh boy. <laughs> Not necessarily you. <laughs> to be fair, you've got like plus zero to wisdom. That was a damn lucky roll. Yeah, she would have charmed me for one round, and then what? <laughs> Uh, and then I would have started popping Side. arrows in people, to be fair. <laughs> if it had started getting towards you firing axes at people. Oh, God, you guys are going to kill firing each other axes. before I manage to do it, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> uh, Telemain. I'm going to disarm everybody from now on. Thank you all and good night. Fair enough. Wumpo has apparently also died. Um... 
Mine just went blank. That's all. Cool. That'll do. Anyway, thanks all for watching. These will be up on YouTube over the next week or so. And I will see you next week for more Naldrin campaign. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Whee! And uh, I didn't get any eyeballs, so I'm very sad. <laughs> ah, I killed, ah, ah. like... I killed the majority of the people on the battlefield, so I'm quite happy about Lobster. that. And I got at least one beheading in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we did well. As an evisceration. Oh, uh, XP and stuff. Or do you want to do that tomorrow and just let us know? Um, it's fine. So you currently got two GP split between six of you. So. Yeah. Sorry about that. I decided to like not be, you know, a thirty thief. silver each. Cool. <laughs> Nice. Um. Wait. Okay. Um. A gold is ten silver. Is, right? oh. is it? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, you get about three SP each. God damn it. What? Sorry. That's fine. Brain. I've still got lots of money, so I don't care. Uh, right, so that was... One, two... Three hundred... Plus... Three times eight is twenty-four? Yep. Okay, and then... Um, that's 17 times 2 is 30. 34. Thank you. And then 160, 0, 10, 14, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. Turn to that 1, 2, 4, 0. Divided by Okay, one hundred and eighty XP each. One eighty was that. When do we level up? At nine hundred. Damn. Uh, uh, it's still what, a way off. What is the current XP? Five hundred and seventy. And plus a hundred and eighty. So that's seven fifty. Eight fifty. Eight fifty. Hmm? No. Wait, what? Five seventy. Seven fifty. Shouldn't it be? Seven fifty. Yeah. My old favorite comic. I, yep. I think I carried the one twice. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. So we've got seven hundred fifty. So. Yeah, very close to leveling up, another 150 what? XP if we just need to kill the same again. Can we put a record in the chat? Yep. Yes, please. Yeah, I also yeah, I need to know what else we got whilst there was out of commission there. For, for 180 XP and about 3 SP. Yep. So, thanks all, and we'll see you next week. Oh, and a diagram of a weird circle of runes. Yes. Woo